College with Ray. I'm Rachel and today I'm going to be sharing with you the new Vintage Holiday Glam Collection from Stella Chroma. Before we get into the beautiful polishes, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. That lets me know you like my live swatch and review videos. And if you haven't already subscribed, you totally should. I upload new live swatching videos every week. So this beautiful five piece collection is going to launch on the Stella Chroma site this Friday on November 5th. The collection includes two shimmery matte shades, a beautiful glossy shimmer, a shifty flaky multi-chrome, as well as a sparkly holiday topper. Each of the polishes in this collection have their own individual prices, which I will put in the captions, but you can purchase the entire collection at a discounted price until the end of November for only $57. All right, we have five beautiful shades to look at today, so let's go ahead and get into the swatches. We're starting off with the multi-chrome in this release. This first polish is called Space Age Tree, and it's described as being a super cool blue to teal to green to silver multi-chrome with a hint of gold flakies. This polish is gonna retail for $13. So definitely see all of the described colors in the bottle. I see the green and the blue just glowing. And then in the center there, I see the shift to silver and teal as well. I even see on the sides of the bottle, I'm sure you do as well, <laughs> um, some shifts to gold and purple. Um, although I didn't see the yellow shift on uh, this polish at extreme angles, which you'll be able to see in my photos, I could see purple shifts in this polish too, which I've never seen in a multi-chrome this color. And I think what really makes this multi-chrome unique is the addition of those beautiful gold flakies. They just play so nicely with that silvery base. So this one had an absolutely beautiful formula. It was much more opaque than I was expecting. A lot of multi-chromes end up needing three coats for me, but this one was fully opaque actually in just two. And there were some brush strokes as I was applying, very few, but they were there and they dried down completely non-existent. <laughs> they weren't there when it was dry is what I'm trying to say. So here's what it looks like built up in two coats and some lower outdoor lighting. Just check out that shift, people. The silver at this angle, and then you move your hands and you get the blue and the teal <laughs> and the gold flakies too. Such a pretty polish. Pictured are two coats of space age tree. Look at that purple with a glossy top coat. And next is a polish that I was so sure was gonna be my favorite out of the box. It's actually not because I did save my top picks for the end of the video. Make sure you stick around so you don't miss those. Um, but this one sure is beautiful and appropriately named. It's called Glam and it's described as being an in your face pink that dries down to an attention getting matte finish. It's got just a hint of shimmer to give it a beautiful depth and it's going to retail for $13. So. Such a bold, bright, beautiful shade of pink, very attention getting and super festive. And it's got that fuchsia shimmer running throughout as well as I feel like some extra sparkle in there. I don't know that it's hollow, so I don't wanna call it hollow because that's not in the description, but it's very hollow-esque. <laughs> um, so personally, I don't really wear bright pinks around the holiday season. I usually wear my bright pinks in the summer, berry tones in the fall, and then light pinks in the spring. But I feel like these kind of pinks have been super trendy in holiday collections this year. So I might have to grab this one for my nails this season. On application, look at this. Yup. <laughs> it was basically a one coater. If you're not picky, you could get away with one coat for sure on this one. I didn't have any visible nail line after that first coat. I did go in for two just to get a really smoothed out look. And here's what it looks like when it dried down matte. You can still see the beautiful sparkle and shimmer. Oh my goodness, this one is gorgeous. And it truly is a bright, fuchsia super glamorous and in case you were wondering it looks very very beautiful with a glossy top coat as well i'm a glossy girl personally i love all my polishes glossy and that's a hundred percent how i would wear this one and it is stunning the shimmer is even more beautiful pictured are two coats of glam dried down matte 
Next, we're taking a look at the second matte polish in this collection. This one's called Blue Velvet, and it's described as being a vibrant cobalt blue with just a hint of shimmer. It too will retail for $13, so oh goodness. This pink and blue just together, mind-blowingly beautiful, and this is exactly the kind of color I reach for around the holidays. I love red, I love green, gold, silver, and blue. So I can't wait to wear this one again, like ASAP. <laughs> um, it's just as beautiful as the pink in the bottle. It's got a gorgeous, vibrant cobalt base, not too deep, not too light, just perfectly bright. And in that brilliant blue base, we also have a tonal shimmer that just adds some additional sparkle. As soon as I put this on my nail, I gasped out loud. Is this not one of the prettiest colors you have seen? So bright and beautiful. I will say it does have more of a Crelly-like base than the pink shade Glam did. I would say most people will need two coats for this one just to get even coverage and, you know, a nice smooth matte finish, but gosh, it is so, so gorgeous. And I can't see anyone needing more than two coats to get this one completely opaque. So here's what it looks like dried down in its matte state. And here's what it looks like built up in two coats, completely matte. It almost appears to shift from that bright cobalt to a deeper, almost navy shade because of the angles and the matte finish. This one is stunning and it too looks even prettier in my opinion, glossy. I don't know. What do you guys think? Do you prefer these matte or glossy? Let me know in the comments. Personally, I can't stop staring at this one when it has that top coat on it. It's gorgeous. Pictured are two coats of blue velvet dried down matte. On to one of my top picks from this collection. This one is called Coconut Cream and it's described as being a warm white cream with red to gold shimmer that's sweet like candy. It's going to retail for $13. So in the bottle, this one didn't look like too much to me, but once I got it on my nails, holy cow, I was not prepared for the awesomeness that is this polish. I am so, so in love with this formula. So much so I'm considering getting another bottle of it because I think this is going to be one of my go-to whites. Now the base for this one is not a stark white. It definitely, I agree with this description, is very warm. It has just a little bit of yellow, but not enough to where it looks yellow on the nails. So look at this formula. Wow. It was so smooth. It wasn't super creamy. It's more what I would describe as a Crelly, but it built up beautifully in two coats and it just had this gorgeous squishy finish. Oh my goodness. I don't know if I've ever loved how a white has looked on me or applied on my nails as much as this one. I'm in love. I did go in for three coats, but honestly, I think I could have gone in for two careful coats or three kind of slappy coats. <laughs> so here's what it looks like built up in three coats. The shimmer is on the subtle side. It kind of just um, gives the polish a little bit more depth, but I loved how this one looked on me. I can't wait to wear it again. <laughs> I'm putting it on my holiday rack. Pictured are three coats of coconut cream with a glossy top coat. And the final polish I have to share with you in this collection and another top pick is called Tangled Tinsel. Such a cute name because that's exactly what this bottle looks like. It's described as being a silver topper full of hollow dust, hollow flakies, and silver flakies. This one's going to look great over any shade, and it's going to retail for only $11. So all the other polishes in this collection are $13. This one is $11, and remember, if you purchase the entire collection before the end of November, you get all the polishes for $57. So, oh my goodness. This is the topper I didn't know I needed so badly in my life. Um, I'm gonna show it to you over a variety of colors so you can really appreciate it. Um, but I love the large silver flakes and then the hollow just sparkles among that silver and it truly, truly looks so festive. I adore this topper. And y'all know I'm not a topper person, so yeah. <laughs> 
So like I said, I wanted to show you what this looked like over a variety of colors that I figured you'd probably have something similar in your collection. I will leave all of these creams linked in the description box. So you will see it looks literally phenomenal over every single color. And I can't wait to try this polish over more combinations. My favorite way to wear it was over the darker colors because I really felt the silver provided some beautiful contrast that way, but truly loved it over the red. And you'll see which polish from the collection I chose to pair it with on the full hand swatch here in just a second. It's gorgeous that way tr too. Like truly you can't go wrong with this one. Oh my goodness. So here's what it looks like over the red, super sparkly. I think I love it most over the blue. It just gives like a crushed icy look. And then here's what it looks like over black. Gorgeous as well. So I just kind of on a whim decided to put it over coconut cream. That's not what I planned to put it with. I was going to put it with one of the matte shades, but once I added it to coconut cream, uh, my jaw hit the floor. I was memorized and I kept this on my nails for three days. Oh, I love it. Pictured as one coat of tangled tinsel over coconut cream. So that is the Stella Chroma Vintage Holiday Glam Collection. Let me know all your thoughts in the comments. Do you think you'll be grabbing any of these beautiful shades? And in case you're in the mood to see some more beautiful polishes be swatched, you should check out some of my recent videos. Last week, I live swatched and reviewed over 30 items that will be available for November's Polish Pickup Shop. I also recently live swatched and reviewed Bees News Lacquer's newest collection inspired by American Horror Story Red Tide. And I did a live stream live swatching and reviewing Night Owl Lacquer's newest releases. I'll leave those videos down in the description box so you can check them out. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and if you're not already subscribed, you should do that too. <laughs> I'll see you next time. Bye!